In this lesson we'll be compositing the tree's scanline and ambient occlusion layers. So let's go over and um, just before we continue, uh, if you remember to the Maya lessons we animated our scanline, but I'm actually not going to be using that, I'm just going to be using a static scanline. Um, I've rendered that out if, uh, if you'd like to use it instead of having to re-render. So let's uh, grab first of all the occlusion and put it into a new comp. And this will be the trees effects and I'll put this into the pre-comps. So we have the occlusion and we have our scan line. So I'm going to be using the static ones. Set this to multiply. Okay, cool. So I'll put this back on top of the trees just to see what it's going to look like um, at its default settings. We haven't changed anything. It's very dark is what we can see. So we can either brighten the trees up to compensate or we could uh, make some adjustments. One thing you'll notice that we must address first is that the uh, occlusion and the scan line haven't uh, been opacity mapped. So that's why we're getting this very easy to patch up instead of fix. So let's do that now. All I'll do is uh, create a new mat uh, for this to sort of be applied to. And um, I'll create that mat from the beauty layer, which has the correct opacity as well as the ground layer which is, or well, we could just use the LCD. Actually, it would be quicker to use the bowl mat because it's, uh, it's very simple. So, I'll, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, this tree's beauty layer would be called the tree effects mat. And I can put this in the pre-comps and in the tree effects. The, well, both of these can alpha mat the tree effects and now in compile they don't go overboard or where they shouldn't be going uh, we could uh, have this mat itself just sort of uh, if we have any fringing as you can see it's slightly uh, removes a very thin layer okay so yes let's uh, decide what we want to do whether brighten up the tree or keep the or brighten up the occlusion itself. Um, I'll just quickly change the scan line to around 90 or 85 percent. That'll lighten it up a small amount. I just didn't want pitch black lines. So uh, in the tree effects, I'll just close the mat for the moment. I actually want to split the occlusion up into two separate parts. Um, Regardless of how I want it on the bottom, I think it's way too intense on the top. So I'll split it up into two sections. The occlusion, this uh, occlusion here, uh, this can be the base occlusion. So this will be trees occlusion base. So to map that, we'll need to uh, we'll need to change. Well, we'll need to make an additional map for this. So tree effects mat base. So uh, I just want the well, essentially um, not the the top. So let's see what mats we have here. We have a mat trunk that we could possibly use, although it has uh, has the branches and no leaves. I think what I'll do is just go back to here and uh, in this one in the tree effects mat. I won't have the bowl, so this can just be the occlusion for the trees. And in the tree effects mat base, it can be just the bowl. And uh, it doesn't have to be any of the trees, but that's going to double up, so this will alpha inverse those. So back into the tree effects, I need to add the base for this occlusion. So we'll be alpha matting the base. And the this occlusion, the tree occlusion, trees occlusion, uh, that can be the top. So now I split it out into two separate parts. And you don't have to look too far or too hard to notice we're getting 
a very annoying fringe here. So what we'll do is instead of splitting up the ambient occlusion, we'll have the one ambient occlusion layer, but um, we'll have adjustment layers using these two mats to individually tweak the two. So I'll just have the trees occlusion, I'll get rid of the tree occlusion base, and uh, that won't be alphabetting anything. However, these two mats will drag to the top. Actually, no, they'll need to be beneath the scan line, sorry. I'll just uh, have the scan line in peach. And um, this will be the base CC. And we can have the top CC. And uh, this will obviously alpha mat. And we'll be using levels to adjust our how uh I mean occlusion so levels adjustment onto the base I sort of want to have it darker where it is but uh but lighter overall so I'll just uh bring this up here we can make it brighter if we want I'll just first work out how bright um the trees are going to need to be to compensate for this uh, amount of darkness and uh, we can if we want first just go into tree effects and just turn this down eight, like 70 80 percent i'm not sure if sort of losing our nice harsh uh, occlusion here which i'm really liking so i'll try and uh, brighten up the base so we can lock this layer here and uh, go back to it. And uh, in our trees, create an adjustment layer because uh, we have individual levels adjustments on each three. We don't want to be changing those. So add the levels and can brighten this up. And even so, it's still very dark in uh, in some areas. So I don't want to push the gamma and the brightness too far. I'll say about here is as far as I'll go in brightening this up, so the rest needs to be um, the, the rest of the brightness needs to be pulled by the occlusion. And that needs to obviously be brighter. So in the tree effects, I'll just unlock this now. And I'll brighten up the occlusion. The base occlusion. Um, actually, what I'm mostly worried about is the trees. Uh, it's very dark, almost pitch black in here. That's what I want to address. If I look at the trees on their own, there's a small amount of uh, that darkness, but most of it's coming from the occlusion. So the top color correction, I'll brighten it up a bit. Maybe increase the gamma just a tiny bit. That's not getting me anywhere. Let's see how far I have to take it to actually get uh, something a bit more acceptable. Something about here. Um, it's not looking too sightly. It's very bright. I can sort of clip the, or sort of tone down the whitest values, but it's going to darken a little. That's looking okay, I guess. I can take the occlusion down by increasing the input black to sort of get rid of the darkest areas however it's going to get rid of the or sort of diminish the effect a little bit just take a oh actually i'll lock it and go into the tree effects and view that layer i can just adjust the input black so the output black So 
So yes, we're still getting our occlusion, but uh, we're bright doing a good job brightening it up. But I might just bring this back and just take it out of the harshest areas. That looks good. Uh, I like the grounding we're getting from the base occlusion, although it is very strong. Um, the ground definitely needs to be brighter, so I'd like to actually brighten up the ground to where it needs to be before adjusting the base occlusion. So the grass, just unlock this. The grass I'd like to brighten up. Something that looks a bit more natural, something like that. 